Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is Vivs from Slider here. In this video, let me further continue our discussion of making a simple app that uses multi-threading in Android. Now what we have is this download images app which has several image links. When you click on one, it's gonna download that inside your file manager. The problem with this app was the user was not getting any indication once you downloaded the image. For example, I say image 2 here inside my screen that URL appears here at the top inside the edit text when I click download image the image has actually started downloading but there is no indication of that whatsoever so let's go back and make this better for the user now if you go to activity underscore main dot xml there's the edit text there's our download button there's our list view but there is something which you don't see let me show you in the code this linear layout is something which is completely hidden because I have set the visibility of this linear layout equals to gone now what does that contain? It contains a text view, it contains a progress bar which is indeterminate in nature and the text view is saying the text loading over here. Now this is completely invisible by default therefore you don't see it. Now what I want to do is when the image is downloading I want to make this linear layout visible indicating some progress to the screen. And when the image is completed downloading I want to hide this linear layout back again. So two things to do show the linear layout that is make it visible and then make it invisible so go back to the main activity if you see when you click on this button over here which says download image at the top here what you have is this method download image through the on click attribute that gets called right here so inside this download image method over here at the bottom right here at the download image method what I have is my thread that gets initialized it uses an object that implements the runnable interface now download images thread is a class that implements the runnable interface right here so inside this there's nothing but the run method which is gonna run code in the background now right when the run method starts now remember the code inside this method is gonna run inside a background thread what I wanna do is make the linear layout visible so for that I'm gonna have to get access to our main activity by saying main activity dot this dot run on UI thread now the reason I do this is I cannot modify views from a background thread so here I'm gonna say new runnable and then have the run method inside inside the public void run method what I'm gonna do is say loading section now if you if, if I haven't shown you guys I'm sorry about that but at the top here this linear layout is actually brought into code it's called loading section here it has it has been initialized inside the on create method so go down right here inside this part of the run I'm gonna say the loading section dot set visible and I'm gonna say view dot visible now what the hell have I done there's a run here and there's another run inside you guys are like what the hell are you trying to do man this run and its code is gonna run inside the background thread but what I wanna do is run this particular statement on the main thread therefore I've said main thread dot run on UI thread it takes a runnable object now you know runnable is an interface you cannot create an object of it what you can do is create some anonymous class that implements that interface and that's exactly what I have done over here if you guys are not good at Java please check my Java videos because that's where all the Java lies and I'm not gonna explain that right here in my Android videos so going back here this is a run loading section being made visible now when the image has completed downloading I want to make it invisible once again now if you see download image using threads is the method that does all the work of downloading the images so there's a successful is false blah 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 a lot of code here file handling stuff now there's a finally clause over here which runs whether the download was successful or not now inside this what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say this dot run on UI thread I'm gonna create a new runnable here that's the same thing what I want to do is now remember this complete method that is download images using threads is gonna be called here you see that statement this is inside run this is inside download images thread which implements runnable which means it's running in the background so inside the finally clause I have called this dot run on UI thread inside this block here I'm gonna say loading section dot set visible view dot gone now if you guys are looking at this and if you're like oh my god dude what the hell have you written at both the places this is so confusing 
that's exactly my point you don't use threads in Android because this is so confusing you're supposed to use async task or loaders for doing all your work but since I'm going here through the hard way of showing you guys why threads suck in Android this is why they really suck so you guys can see what's happening right here at the top there is the download image using threads method inside that whatever happens the try statement may or may not run successfully which means the image may be downloaded or may not be downloaded but whatever happens finally is always gonna run and everything runs in the background so what I'm gonna do is run on UI thread call that here pass a new runnable object now this runnable object contains some code that's gonna run on the main thread and that's this code which says loading section dot set visibility view dot gone so at this point if you see this and if you run this at the top here so at this point if you take say image 3 here that URL is gonna appear at the top and you click download image there you go that's our loading section right at the bottom which says loading dot 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 and well it's still spinning finally it disappeared the internet was probably slow that's why the image was still downloading and it was there as long as the image was getting downloaded so this is basically the whole mess behind using threads to do something now you could make a determinate progress bar as well it's gonna be pretty much the same but the idea is you don't use threads for doing all this because this is way too complicated what you're gonna do is you're gonna use async tasks or some other better things that are existent in Android for managing or dealing with this kind of stuff. So in the upcoming videos we're gonna talk about the more dangerous methods. Now there are certain workarounds that can still make this thing work but I'm not gonna dig into that. One of those hacks or fixes I call it is to actually fix the orientation of the activity and make sure it doesn't rotate at all. Now of course talking about rotation I almost forgot to tell you guys that this progress bar has a small bug when you rotate the screen it's gonna disappear and you won't see it again even if the image is downloading in the background the reason is the activity gets destroyed once you rotate the screen and the thread that you created here doesn't know any doesn't have any idea about the new activities instance once it has been started because the code here inside the finally clause is gonna run on the UI thread for the current reference of the activity now this current reference gets outdated when a new activity is created now if that sounds too complex for you the basic idea what I'm trying to say is something like this if this progress bar with images is made to rotate this progress bar is gonna disappear it won't work so we're gonna see how to make this thing work better with async task or handlers and other options available in Android so in the next video let's take a look at that in the meantime if you do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching we'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day